Thank you for clicking this video. Hope you guys like what you see and stay tuned for the finishing product on how I style my natural hair. Okay, so my hair is freshly washed and blow dried. So now I am separating my hair so I can start clipping away. Taper this, fade it, this to the top. <laughs> so I'm pinning my hair up so I don't accidentally cut the top part out. First, make sure it's cleaned all up. And we're gonna take my number eight guard. And it's open. Just fade the whole top. And this is real easy, like, you can do this yourself, especially when you have guards. Yeah, because this was too long. Like, my hair was curling, it wasn't even laying flat. So, yeah. Then go the opposite way down. I went with an eight guard and now I'm going to go with a six. This time I'm not gonna go this high, like this all the way high. Until just like right here. Right here, basically that's only where I'm going to bring that six. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to comb this up. And here's where the fading starts to come in play. I'm going to leave this open. And every time you do it, you want to loop up towards that way. So, here, loop up. And this is actually going to be my third time cutting my hair. And I cut my hair um. Okay, and now I'm going to use a three open. It may be focused this the bottom and like my sides. And I basically keep this under my ear and I blend. Just comb all the excess that's hanging on so you can get a vicious see. So a little bit over my ear right here, I'm going to go a little closer and sweep up. that nice even so it won't be like a bridge you see how like this is right here and then my short so I'm basically just blending flip okay. so we did a three and now we're going to do a two People like, do these, 
See these steps really matter? Yes, if you follow these steps easily, like, there's no way you can mess up. Like, no possible way. But I know some people, they go smaller to go up. But I feel like this way is a lot easier because when you start smaller numbers, that's when you can't replace that hair. So if you mess up and that hair is gone, it's like, oh my God, what else do? Now you got to wait two weeks just for it to fill in. So what I do is always go up and then go down. So it's a lot easier. Okay, so I'm using my two. And I'm leaving it open. Yeah. And I'm just going to see this the bottom. Like I said, the my limit is like halfway from my ear to the bottom of my hairline. Close it. Make sure I get these little stubborn little edges. I really don't like these right here to be that trimmed down as long as when I go like that. Oh, I got a hair splint. But yeah, I don't really like to go low really right here, that low. So yeah, so that's why I keep it. And we're gonna go into one. <clears throat> and this is like really like the bare minimum at the bottom. I'm going to close that. And right here, I'm just looking to see if everything looks clean, everything's in place. Let me just brush everything to make sure everything is good so far. So I went back with my clippers because I've seen a few spots that were curly at the bottom. Okay, everything is looking good just the way I like it. So now I am going to move forward and go on to the top part of my hair. Okay, so now I'm just cutting off the top edges that was out of place. I'm just double checking my work. Everything is looking good from the back, the sides. Okay, so now I'm taking my trimmers and just trimming the edge. I'm not doing too much because I don't want the lines to look too, too harsh. I'm just trying to keep it more feminine and not too much masculine. Okay, so now I'm combing it down so I can work on the top part and make sure it's not too bulky. Put it up. Please, these shears. Thin it out. Okay, so I'm gonna continue thinning out the sides in the back, and my next step is I'm going to do my top part, and I'm gonna create layers. And yeah, I'm gonna just fast forward this part a little bit quicker. This part is comb everything. For it. This is like the easiest way to get layers. 
Hold it, hold it. Mm -hmm. Like to have it. Cut all that off. All of that. Let's have these a bit longer. So if I flip it this way, as you can see, this will hang down. So since I went forward, the next step is to go backwards. sections so take my spray bottle and wet the whole bottom next thing to do is take any foam that you want to use to set now I'm slicking down with the foam now y'all about to see some magic see him ways hold on hold on hold on let me take a picture yeah boy we are now now i'm about to take my gel and for this note i just want to say you better get a gel that does not flake up or get white because yeah it could become a horror story and i'm gonna just smooth that bad boy out all right, now let's get to these edges. So for my edges, I like to finger wave my edges because if I don't finger wave them and I try to do them regularly, my curls would pop up. And when I take off my head scarf, it will be just a curl sticking up. And yeah, I need this to be flat as possible. So the best option is to finger wave it. Or if you really have stubborn edges and sideburns, you could use an in wrap paper and yeah, it will dry super super duper fast and will be flat Make sure everything is laying down flat because once you put on the head tie if whatever's sticking up is going to stick up so before i tie my head down i like to take my brush and just go over to show y'all so the next thing i do is wrap around my head work on the top i'm gonna wet it put the mousse on and put the gel on and yeah this is the finished product hope you guys like it like comment and subscribe yeah this is my hair texture and this is my hair when it's fully fully dried much but if you want to see more hair tutorials from me write it down in the comment section